Hey, what's going on, people? Well, I gotta tell you something. I got some really, really bad news here. Astronomy Domini has relapsed again with his prolapse. If you guys can see back in there. Let's see if I can get this light on for you guys. Hold on a second. That should be a little bit better, but if you guys can see back in there, the snake has relapsed. Now, this is... um. Actually, the second time this week. The first time it wasn't nearly as bad, and I was able to push it back in myself, but it's popped out. So, the problem is obviously not food size or, or anything like that. There's only a couple other things that it could be. It could be constipation, which I really don't see it being, especially since he's had the laxative and everything like that. And then the only other thing that it might possibly be is uh, scent marking. But once again, these are only guesses. And basically what we have now, we got them set up in, uh, in some sugar water. And that's just to help the swelling go down. And as it swells down, it's going to try and go back into his body a little bit more. That's the cloakia, you know, his, uh, all his sex organs and everything like that. And it is leading me to believe that it might be scent marking just from the times of the year that, that this is happening. All the research, everything that I've done, um, there's no rhyme or reason or anything. It's just, it's, re, it's retarded. This is just one of those things that you're going to have to deal with. And I'm going to put an email, um, I guess, at the end of this, just uh, from... Uh, from a guy that I know, really good hurt. Nah, I don't know him, but just somebody that I was contacting, and you know, it's it's common in in reptiles. They say that if you're gonna own a lot of reptiles, that eventually you're gonna deal with this. I just wish that uh, I didn't have to deal with it with this snake. So I'll do the best I can. If this uh, swelling goes down a little bit more, um, maybe I'll uh, I'll show you guys how I push it back in. But, um, I don't know what I should do. You guys gotta, you guys gotta let me know. I, I don't have to, I don't have to, you know, what to put this snake in the freezer. But I also don't want to pay stupid money to put the snake down. And actually putting the snake in the freezer is probably the best thing for it because it is a uh, cold-blooded animal. And it will witness absolutely no pain. If that's the course I decide to take, but I called the vet when it happened to happened again, and they wanted eighty dollars again just to see the snake. And I've already given the vet way too much money, and have gotten really nowhere in the last you know six, seven, eight months. And I'm really heartbroken because I think this is the end of the road for this snake because the it's getting worse and worse each time it comes out. There's more pieces of it that seem to be dried out, and once that dries out. I mean, there's nothing you can really do to, to help the snake. Um, all I could do right now is let the snake sit in the in the sugar water for the next couple of hours, and uh, hopefully it'll uh, the swelling will go down. And then I think uh, if I can set the camera up into a position where I could show you guys how I push this back in, um, that's what I'll do for you guys. So, but I wish I was coming to everybody with some better news, but it looks like this is the end of the road for... Uh, for myself and Astronomy Domini, I'm not going to continue to take the snake into the vet if there's nothing that they can do to help the snake, especially after all the money I've spent so far. All right, guys. Wish I had some better news for you guys today, but that's about it. Peace out.